Hi guys, I'm Annabelle and welcome back to Meeple Village. Today we're going to be doing a full run through of Animalchemist. In Animalchemist, we are going to be taking the role of some really cool looking animals who are also alchemists. We're going to be brewing potions, crafting spells, and just trying to get the most points in this game. Let me show you how it's done. Why don't you just join me at the table and let's play Animalchemists. Okay, let's go ahead and set up the game. I'm going to show you how easy it's uh, done. I already did some of it, but I'll tell you exactly what you do before you start a game of Animalchemist. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to shuffle all the ingredients. They all have the same backing, so it's easy to know which ones they are. Let's give this a shuffle one last time for good measure. Um, and uh, there's five different types of ingredients in the game and you're gonna be using them to, uh, well, to, <laughs> to brew potions, right? That's, uh, that's what you do with the ingredients. I'll show you that as soon as we are done setting up. It's easy to see it visually. So once you're shuffled and given a, a good shuffle, uh, uh, then you go ahead and place five ingredients on the table. And two, there's got mushrooms, we got herbs, we got bones, we got seeds, and we got mushrooms. So we got four out of the five ingredients. I think we're missing honey. All right, so once that's done, the next row is for potions, and there are four potions of uh, every kind. So you go ahead and sort them out by color um, or by name uh, or by the picture on the bottle, whichever way you want to do. But we got poison, we got extra, we got tonic, we got incense, and we got essence. And there's four of each, like I said, uh, and we put them in the second row. Now, the, on the third row, the first thing you got to do is make sure that you leave the time stop at the bottom. That's always going to be, whoopsies, that's always going to be at the bottom. It's a two-sided card, so it's easy not to mix it in with the rest of the spells, which are in my hand. So we're going to go ahead and give this one a quick shuffle, and we're going to place five spells down here, okay, and there. And then the rest of the spells are going to be on top of the time stop. Time stop, obviously, that's going to trigger the end of the game. Uh, but you're going to see all of that because we're going to do a full run through. On, uh, for this game, I have chosen to, it's a two player game, so I'm going to put the red panda uh, against the honey badger. And the only difference is really uh, their power is, the only difference in their powers is which ingredient they like. All of the characters, they just like a specific ingredient. So the red panda likes bones. And once in the game, he can take all the ingredients that are bones. Uh, and this guy likes honey. So again, he can take all the honey uh, one time during the game. Although there is a power to do it more than once. But for the most part, it's only once during the game. But don't worry, you'll understand all of that in a minute. So just looking at the board, I can tell you exactly what this game is about. You want to gather ingredients. And with the ingredients that you gather, you're going to be brewing potions. So you're going to use these to get these. And then with the potions and sometimes with ingredients, you're going to be crafting spells. And the spells are going to be the bulk of your points in the game. And also they're going to give you a power that usually benefits you or sometimes it thwarts your opponent. So not only do you get points, but you also get special powers that you can use once per game. Uh, so basically that is the game. I'll tell you how it's played when we go to gameplay. Okay, so during your turn, you can do three things. Two of those are right now unavailable to us, but I'll tell you what they are. First thing you can do is you can grab, grab ingredients. So you can grab two ingredients and you can grab two ingredients either that are uh, face up or you can grab an ingredient that is face up and one that is face down or two that are face down. So in any combination, you're just going to be grabbing two ingredients. The other thing that you can do during your turn is use the ingredients to brew the potions. And at the bottom of the potions, you're going to see what ingredients you are going to be needing to brew that potion. And I'm going to show you that a little closer in a minute. But the last thing that you can do in your turn is you can craft spells. And the spells, again, is, you know, you're going to be needing potions and sometimes ingredients to craft those. So like I said, right now, because we don't have any ingredients in our hands, we're not going to be able to either do potions or do spells or, or get any potions or any spells into our hands. All we can do is gather some ingredients. Now, who goes first? Well, that's really simple. The way you do it is you look at the bottom card of the ingredients deck, this one right here. And uh, whatever ingredient is there, this time it's a seed, you look at your guys and check who likes seeds. 
Well, in this case, nobody likes seeds. So you move on to the next card. It's seeds again, so you move on to the next one. Okay, it's mushrooms. Nobody likes mushrooms. You move on to the next one. Seeds, oh gosh, okay, there's bones. So the red panda likes bones. So that means that the red, red panda is going to go first. And then you're supposed to put these back in the same order as you grab them. I don't think it's a big deal. So just leave them like that. And so the red panda is going to go first. And during his turn, like I said, he's going to grab two ingredients. But before I do that, let me show you what I need. And that will help me also see uh, exactly what ingredients I want to grab during this turn. All right, so like I said, the potions in the bottom, they have the ingredients needed. So you can see that, for example, in order for me to craft a uh, poison potion, I'm going to need an herb and I'm going to need a bone and the extract is going to need seeds and herbs, the tonic honey and seeds. So you see now, and also you look at the middle of the card, it has a three, they all have a three, all of them have a number three. That's how many points you get at the end of the point. That's how many points you get at the end of the game if you still have that potion and you haven't used that potion yet. Now moving down to the uh, spells, which are down here, you're gonna see that uh, this one, for example, the Awaken, it needs a red potion, which is incense to craft. And then it's gonna give you that power and it's gonna give you five points. If you look around, there's a 15 pointer, Disrupt, a five pointer, a 10 pointer, and a 15 pointer. So let's say that I want to focus on Confuse. Ingredients must be drawn at random until your next turn. That's gonna thwart my opponent. He's gonna have to get those ingredients at random instead of choosing freely. So let's say that I want a yellow potion and a purple potion. So with that in mind, then I know that a purple potion is gonna take bones and mushrooms and a yellow potion is gonna take seeds and herbs. So Pretty much any of those four ingredients from the top row are good to go for me this turn. So with that in mind, I'm going to first focus on this uh, essence potion. Bones and mushrooms, they're both right here, ready for me to take. Now my ingredients, they go in my hand and they are secret. And uh, nobody is supposed to know what ingredients I have in my hand. But of course there's an, a little bit of memory because if you just looked at what I picked, then you know what I have in my hand. Uh, at the end of every player's turn, that's when the ingredients replenish. So because it is the end of my turn, I did everything that I could do, which was to uh, pick two ingredients, then uh, the ingredients replenish, and now it's the badger's turn, and the badger's in the same predicament. Now I must say that you uh, can go ahead and grab as many ingredients, and there's no hand size, and also in a turn when you're doing potions or even spells, you can buy as many of those as you want. Uh, so there's actually kind of two strategies going on, one in which you know you can uh, grab ingredients and right away brew the potions and another one in which you just get a bunch of ingredients in your hand and then buy potions in one turn, buy a bunch of potions. Um, so whichever way you want to do it. There is however uh, a caveat in that you can only have one potion of each kind on, on the table. So you cannot have two red potions or two purple potions uh, on, your on, your, on your side of the table. Uh, but with that said, okay, so Mr. Badger, what is he gonna do? Well, he likes the big points. Uh, that there's, there's also something else that you can kind of strategize. This guy's going for big points. So let's have the honey badger actually go for um, the, the faster to, to brew kind of potion, well, not potions, but the faster, the, the crafting, the spells that are easier to craft. Uh, which are less points, but maybe we can get more of those and see what happens when we try those two strategies. So with that in mind, I'll try a five. Uh, so there's fear that requires a green potion and there's uh, awaken that requires a red potion. Um, I like the awaken because choose a player, they discard two ingredients of, of their choice. That's going to help me slow down my opponent. Uh, the fear steal a, ra Ooh, steal a random ingredient from another player. That's not bad either. Uh, so let's see what's out there. So if I look for green, I need uh, bones, and there are no bones out here. If I look for red, mushrooms and honey, and there's no honey. So no matter which way I dice or slice it, uh, I'm going to be down one ingredient that I'm going to go uh, and have to get some luck to get. So let's go for the, let's see, let's go for the red one and get a mushroom which is visible, and then I'll draw blind. And hopefully it's a honey, but I won't tell you. <laughs> All right, so, and then at the end of my turn, we go ahead and replenish, 
and now of course is a red panda. So the red panda uh, knows for sure that I already have a potion um, in my hand if I play these two cards and I was going for, was it the plague? <laughs> this is what happens. Uh, I know this guy's going for the awaken, right? Yeah. Uh, I think this guy was going for the disrupt. I'm confused. Okay. So, so I'm missing a yellow, a yellow potion, which is seeds and herbs. Since the ingredients are here, I'm going to go ahead and grab them because they might not be there later. And I'll just do the potions during my next turn. So I got those two and that's the end of my turn. We'll go ahead and replenish. Oh, there's honey. Okay. So, uh, now I was going for a red potion and I, uh, I'm going to, for this turn, just grab some ingredients. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to grab the bones. And that will be that. Okay, and now let's go to the red panda. Now the red panda is going to go ahead and, and uh, buy those potions. So a mushroom and a bone will get the red panda a purple potion. We'll put it right here. And these uh, are discarded. I'm going to put them sideways so that I know that that's a discard pile. They go, don't, think, don't get them confused. Um, and then herbs and seeds we'll get him an extract. And he only has one yellow and one purple, so it's okay. He has no cards in his hand. And with that, he's done. He cannot buy anything else. So we move on to the badger's turn. And the badger is going to buy a red potion. So discarding these two cards. They're starting to get uh, set up to start uh, buying some spells. And that's, is that all that he's going to buy? Let's see. He is, okay, he might buy, you know what? He's going to buy a poison as well. Uh, it's a herb and a bone. So. And I got to point out that once we run out of potions, that's it. Nobody else can uh, brew any more potions. So once this row is depleted and you see that I'm not replenishing those because that's all the potions that come in the game. So it's kind of like a race to grab those potions and use them effectively and, and get some points into your hand before the end of the game is triggered. But that's it. Now we're going to go to the red panda's turn and he has two potions and it's a yellow and a purple. So with a red, yellow and a purple, he can get the confused. Let me show you. Okay, so there's the Confused Potion. Here's his red and his purple potion. And I love that you can just flip them and it looks there like they're emptied out. <laughs> so with that, you just put them in a discard pile on the side. And same thing with this one, just flip it and we've used it, it's all gone. And of course, if we use it, then we won't be getting those three points at the end of the game, but we are spending six points to get a card that is 15 points. And it also has a power. Ingredients must be drawn at random until your next turn. Now, the uh, red panda can use this spell right away, or he can wait and use it on a different turn. Once you use it, the card just gets flipped and left uh, at your side of the table so that you can count the points because you still get those points whether you use the spell or not. Now, I know that my opponent has no ingredients uh, in his hands. So I think this is a really good time for me to use this uh, spell and he has to draw them randomly. He cannot pick his ingredients next turn. Now I also know he has two potions and I'm thinking he might just go ahead and use those potions to craft some spells. So that's a reason to wait. So in this game, that's kind of what you're doing. You're trying to figure out what the opponent is going to do. I think I'm going to wait because I'm pretty sure that if I have him draw uh, the uh, ingredients randomly, then he's just going to use his potions and grab spells. I'm just going to put this on the side on my side of the table and wait. Okay, so I had my turn. I made 15 points and now at the end of my turn, we refresh the spells. There's foresight, which is a, another cheapie of 5.1. Uh, we go back to the honey badger and he saw me grab that spell. Uh, so if uh, I know at, at some point, now that I don't have any spells, uh, at some point I know he's going to be using that. Now I'm already ready to get the Awaken and the Plague. Um, maybe I want to go for that Foresight. Do we have Bones and Mushrooms? We do not have Bones and Mushrooms. So 
what about another what about this plague can I grab that uh, yes and yes and all I need are seeds which are also there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the seeds let's see um, grab the seeds which I need for the plague and also what else I need the bones and I need not the seeds the, the herbs I grab the herbs because I need them for poison that way I have a potion that I can buy next turn if my opponent throws that spell at me all right, so at the end of the badger's turn, we go like that. Good, I'm glad, uh, I'm happy to see a lot of seeds because I need those for that plate that I have my eyes on. The red panda, no ingredients in hand, so uh, let's see, he wants, he wants a big spell. So let's see, this disrupt or this plague is 10 points, but the disrupt is 15 points, so let's go for that. He needs mushrooms and honey, and they're right here, so I'll just grab those too. Now, he can use his spell at the beginning, at the end, in the middle of his turn, whenever he wants. Uh, so does he want to have, uh, I think I will, I'm going to use the confuse, and if this guy does ingredients, he's going to have to pick them randomly. Uh, Alright, so he, the, red, the honey badger was going to grab those seeds, but there's three of them, he only needs one. So I think it's okay, what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and cash in those spells before somebody else takes them. So awaken, and he's used his potion and uh, fear and he's used his potion okay and now let's see does he want to use any of these awaken choose a player they discard two ingredients okay yes definitely will use awaken because that's gonna have him discard the two ingredients that he just hand picked so perfect and fear steal a random okay i won't use that because it says um let me show you the fear I want to hold in my hand because it says steal a random ingredient from another player. He has no ingredients right now. So at the end of the badger's turn, we replenish the spells and notice that I grabbed two. So we're getting ever quicker to the end of the game. All right, um, let's see. Next up, the red panda, which now has nothing, nothing in his hand. Uh, no potions to be used, so he needs to build up again. So again, I was going for that 15, and I need um, the mushrooms, the honey for the red, and the herbs, and the bones. So since uh, I'll just start making some progress on both of them. He, he stole away his cards. It was so terrible. Now that there is a seed, I bet you if one of these guys was a seed guy, the guy that likes seeds, he would grab all those seeds right now, but uh, they're not. They're not the seed guys. Okay. So um, there we go, back to the badger, and let's see. He was going for this plague, right? Yes, he was. And let me tell you, it's really hard to do this for two players. You kind of forget. Uh, he was, he's going for that, and this guy's going for that. Let me mark it like that. So he needs the seeds and then make a potion. So he'll grab the seeds. And then what else? How about this foresight? Bones and mushrooms? Yeah, he can only grab one. Will it be the bones or the mushrooms? Let's grab the mushrooms and just start getting ready for the next one which is foresight and steal a random ingredient from another player see now this is when the if i remember what he had grabbed <laughs> uh, but i don't remember what he had grabbed because i'm doing too much here i might be able to steal the bones that i need is it the bones yeah the bones that i need or grab the bones and try to steal the mushroom i have no idea what he grabbed and i don't want to cheat um, but you know what? Stealing one ingredient is stealing one ingredient. So I'm just going to use it as another five points. And who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, I'll just steal this one. And it's a mushroom. So if I would have remembered that he had a mushroom, I would have grabbed the bones because now I got two mushrooms in my hand, which I don't need. But it is what it is. Okay, so at the end of my turn, go ahead and replenish. Alrighty. And this guy can't catch a break. They keep stealing. Uh, his ingredients. He's back down to only one ingredient and he's trying to work on these huge spells. All right, so he's got the uh, herbs. He needs bones for the uh, green potion and then he needs honey and so he'll take the bones and he'll take the honey and he'll just wait for a mushroom to pop up. So that's that. Okay, let's replenish. Herbs, herbs, and more herbs. Okay, so this guy is set for his he's gonna grab a poison he's gonna grab a poison oh, the other way around yeah like that <laughs> put it in his 
side of the table, discard these. Does he have what he needs to buy something else? No, he doesn't. Um, well, yeah, because he wants to keep these so he can buy that plague. So that's it for him. The potions do not replenish, so we go back to the red panda. The red panda finally has some ingredients in hand. He needed, uh, was it a mushroom? Yeah, and there are no mushrooms in play. So does he want to buy? I think he's going to go and search for mushrooms in here in the, uh, and he didn't get any, but you know, he tried. Okay, and that's it for him. Now, the badger knows that he's got that and this ready to buy the, the craft this, but he needs, uh, what is it? He needs for foresight, he needs bones. So he's also gonna go digging. Uh, let's see, did he get the bones? Yes, he did. Okay, he got a little luckier. All righty. Back to the red panda. The red panda was not as lucky. He is got the bones and the seeds for the poison, but he is missing mushrooms and nothing changed up there. So you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna go digging again. <laughs> it's gonna happen right there's that mushroom. Okay, he needs um, Mushroom and honey, so he's got them ready and all these things he doesn't need but uh, maybe he'll buy something nice with that All right, so that's it for him back to the badger which he was hoping that um, things will rotate over here But it, they didn't okay. He is ready. He is going to buy some potions. He wants the purple potion which is that okay so it comes over here he'll discard these and he wants no that's it because the rest he's got that he's gonna submit next turn he's gonna be uh crafting two spells that's it for him now we are going to go back to this guy which ah, i left everything here so that i would uh, know exactly what he's doing those two are a green potion okay and these two are a purple potion. Okay, he's going for that uh, disrupt. Is he? Oh, no, no, I messed up. It was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not these potions. It's this, it's the incense. Yeah, like that. The mushroom and the honey. Okay, all right, I almost messed up. Okay, there's that. And if we ever run out of ingredients, those do uh, replenish. We just shuffle the discard back into the, a new pile. Uh, but of course these don't replenish and they still replenish because at the end of the uh, game there's that time stop that's going to trigger the end of the game okay so he bought uh these two potions does he want to buy any other potions because he does have more stuff in his hands he's got honey and he's got bones uh i don't see anything that costs honey and bones though <laughs> so he'll have to wait okay all right back to the badger the badger is going to be triggering some stuff so green and seeds he used his green potion. It's going to give him a plague, which is 10 points. And then he's going to spend his purple potion to buy foresight. So what do these spells do? Okay, so the plague, all players discard a random ingredient. So that he probably wants to use when he has no green ingredients in hand. And then the foresight draw two random ingredients. That could actually come in handy. He has two mushrooms in hand. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, foresight and draw two random ingredients so let's see what he gets okay so now he's got more options for next turn back to the badger he is ready for his disrupt so let's spend these two and disrupt oh i forgot to um replenish let's replenish endure okay so he's gonna buy a disrupt all players pass one ingredient to the right so when he has something in his hand that he doesn't want it's a good time to use that and he actually does have some stuff that he doesn't want <laughs> It's also 15 points. Let's see, anything else, any other spell? I don't think he can do any other spell because he doesn't have any more potions. Does he want to pass his bones to the right? I think so. He's gonna use that and he's going to pass a spell to the right. It'll be the bones. Here you go, you can have some bones. And what are you gonna pass? Um, we'll pass some mushrooms. We have plenty of those. Okay, so now it is the badger's turn and Let's see, first let's try and use all these ingredients if possible. Let me replenish the spells. All right, Echo. So Echo is a fiber. It takes yellow, which is seeds, and I have that. So 
Let's buy the extract for seeds and herbs and put this extract here, my player area. And now I have um, all that I need for an essence. I don't need it right now, but I see that invisibility. All I need is herbs. So I'm going to use all of my ingredients because then I'm going to use my player, my plague, which reads all players discard a random ingredient. So that's going to affect me too because it says all players, but since I don't have any ingredients, there's nothing for me to discard. But unfortunately, Mr. Red Panda is going to have to discard something and he loses the mushroom that he just got. Okay, so Red Panda has no potions. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, he was going to try the invisibility or the endure, one of these expensive ones. Uh, let's see, honey and a yellow potion, which he has no ingredients for. And then invisibility, he's got the bones, he needs a mushroom and he needs... So really, he's not set up for anything. What about the red one? Mushroom and honey and bones. Okay, that's actually not that bad. He just needs mushrooms, which of course he just lost. <laughs> All right, well, he'll just grab two and hope for mushrooms. No mushroom here. And no oh, honey, everything is honey. Oh, red panda. All right, it is what it is, that's what happened. So uh, let's see, um, I have no ingredients. Badger has no ingredients in hand, but he does have two potions. One he's gonna use to get the echo. So there it is. Wait, actually, you know what? Instead of getting potions, I see that I have a purple potion and I have the invisibility here. All I need is, are those herbs, and before they disappear, I'm gonna grab the herbs into my hand, and then I can grab another ingredient. Uh, I see that if I wait and I grab that honey, I can get a 10-pointer instead of a 5-pointer. So I'll grab the honey, so these two. All right, and we replenish. Okay, we're running out of ingredients. We're uh, doing okay, almost running out of spells. I think it's four left before that time stop comes around. All right, Red Panda, what you got? And he likes bones. Okay, no bones. All right, so he has a bunch of honey. Honey, honey, honey. What can we do with honey? We can buy tonics, incense. What needs blue or red? There's, okay, so honey, and then I will need mushrooms, and I will need bones, which I have to get the scorch. So it's just a mushroom so that I can get that incense, and then, uh, there's, I need a yellow, which is seeds and herbs, which there's plenty of. So let's take the herbs and hope for the best. And I'm sure that uh, I will remember all that. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. Um, but if I was playing with more players, I would remember. All right, so back to Mr. Badger, who seems to have everything under control. I don't know, from what I'm seeing, and he's, he's doing really good, but I could be totally wrong. You never know. And we'll find out at the end of the game. So he made it. He is going to get that endure, which means he's going to lose his um, potion and get an endure, which I'll show you in a minute. And then with the purple and the herb, he's going to get the invisibility. He just grabbed two 10 pointers. Okay, so the endure, flip your character back over. We haven't even used the character, but now that we have that, we might try and use them. And invisibility spells cannot affect you until your next turn. So I'm going to use that when the opponent has a lot of spells ready to go, or at least one ready to go. So it won't affect me. Okay. So I don't want to use those right now because uh, there he has no spells, so he is in no threat. So no invisibility needed. Let's replenish all of these. Okay. And let's see if I remember what this guy was going to do. <laughs> Uh, he likes the expensive ones, I remember. So he was going for, let's see. Oh, I think he took it. Okay, he had the bones. And for the red, he needs mushrooms. And yeah, so, he, okay. So he's going to probably get a, uh, an incense. So he'll put these over here and get an incense. And a bunch of honey. Uh, and that is because he's going for this. Let me mark it because I know I will forget. And what else is he going for? I think we said, was it silence? Uh, yes. Nope, it wasn't silence. Was it transmute? Maybe it was something that the opponent took. Honey and the seeds, which are over there. And green is uh, bones. So let's see. Seeds, 
and bones. Hopefully I'm doing that right. Yeah, because he's going to use the bones next turn. Okay, I think he's setting himself up for a big turn coming up, which he needs to. All right, a lot of seeds. I wish one of these guys liked seeds. He likes honey, and there never seems to be enough honey there, and he likes bones. Okay, so I have no ingredients in hand. Let's see what other spells are cheap. Restore. Uh, take any one ingredient from the discard pile. Okay, before that discard pile goes away, huh? So I need honey and there's no honey. So what else is cheap? Echo. I need seeds and, yep, that, I can take those. And echo, take two of the same ingredient. Okay, that sounds actually really good. We'll take those. I'm working on that. Let me mark it. Okay, and oh, the ingredients are going to be reshuffled. Hopefully we'll see some honey and some stuff that we haven't seen in a while. Uh, let's do this. And I will tell you that um, this game is pretty fast. Like the turns go back really, go by really fast. It's also very portable. It's just a deck of cards. Um, so I actually got it <coughs> uh, when I was on a trip and I got it so that the next time I go on a trip, I am not gameless. I have a game to play. Uh, but also the art is just beautiful and that's what drew me into buying it because I just thought this this art needs to be in my collection. Um, I love the black uh, background on the cards. It's just, it's just a very nice looking game. Okay, back to me. Uh, Scorch was it? Yeah, I got the bones and I got the potion. Was I going to get an, something else? Is it time for me to um, think I was? Uh, let's see. Uh, was it the silence? Oh, now I don't remember. This is what happens when you when you play on your own, guys. Uh, okay, there's the poison for green, and blue is honey. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to buy potions this turn. Um, the honey and the seed are going to give me a tonic. Okay. And the uh, herbs and the bone are going to give me a poison. And the poisons are done. There's going to be no more poisons in this game. Wow. Okay, that's important because if we see anything with green, we know we can't really, we can't really uh, craft it anymore because unless I craft it, um, which I think that was that was the plan. So, <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, no replenishing here. So let's see what the badger is going to do. So the badger, um, still waiting on the honey, and there's nothing. And he was going to get a yellow potion so he can buy the echo. So here's his yellow potion. Go. And does he want to use his power? There are no spells yet. So and his power is that spells cannot target him, cannot affect him. And I haven't used my power yet. So that's it for him. He just has that one potion ready to go. Now back to the red panda. Big turn for him. He is going to use his bones that are in his hand and a red potion for the Scorch. And he is going to use the, the last green potion of the game to get a transmute. Okay, now what do these things do? Let's see if he wants to use any of them right now. All right, so the transmute says you may use any one ingredient as any other ingredient. Very nice. And the Scorch, discard two ingredients from the ingredients row. Okay. So, all he has is honey. Um, the next big spell takes honey and seeds and mushrooms. So I don't think he wants to discard. Everything that he needs is out on the table for his uh, silent spell. So he's not gonna use any of that. And also he has that transmute that whenever he's going to buy a potion, it's, it's gonna come in handy. So I think the red panda's done. We'll replenish down here. Ooh, there's the... Uh, end of the game. Now it's not on the table yet. Only these things are available, but it's coming up. So the end of the game is very, very soon. Okay, so the badger. No ingredients in hand, a bunch of spells, still no honey for him to pick up. Uh, he has an extract because he was going for that echo. So let's do that before the game ends. And also by doing that, he uh, will put the end of the game timer uh, available. He'll make that available for anybody to finish the game anytime they want. Uh, because, and I'll, I'll tell you that at the end of the game actually. But first, let's see, what is this echo thing he got? So the echo potion, take two of the same ingredients from the ingredients row. Does he want to use that now? I mean, there, there are two and there might not be two of the same ingredients later. So I think he will. I think he's going to take two seeds into his hand um, and use the echo spell. 
and also now the opponent has a bunch of spells <laughs> so it is a good time to use invisibility and make sure that anything that the um, opponent does doesn't affect them of course i haven't even read the, uh, his spells or i don't remember what they were so maybe they won't affect them anyways but it, it is about the end of the game it doesn't matter if he uses the spell or not they still count as points but uh we'll, we'll say that it's used so whatever the opponent does this turn it's not going to affect him uh, okay so one two three four and one more is five two mushrooms okay and then the um time stop comes into play so the time stop is here it will end the game. It takes a lot of ingredients to craft. Mushrooms, herbs, honey, bones, and seeds. So pretty much one of each. Now, it is 10 points if you do craft it at the end of the game. You don't have to craft it though. You can go ahead and continue crafting other things. Like you can go ahead and craft a terraform and make another 15 points or five points if you do the restore or the darkness for 15 or the silence for 10. You can continue to craft spells. It's kind of a push your luck. Do you want to continue to try and make more points or do you want to, do you think you have enough points to win and you want to craft that time, spot, time stop and end the game? Uh, you kind of have to, uh, sometimes it could be a surprise that you, th you might think you're winning. If you know you're winning for sure, then the time stop is a good way to go. But if you don't know, then maybe you want to craft a couple more spells before you end the game. And I, I think for the red panda, that's kind of where he's at. I don't think he's got it. Um, let's see. He has 30 points uh, plus uh, another 45, 55 points. That might be enough. I know that this guy's only been getting cheap spells. He only has one ingredient in hand. If he wants to go for that time spot, he's going to have to start getting ingredients. Let's see if any of his spells before he takes a turn can help him. Uh, you may use any one ingredient. Okay, that might help him later. Discard two ingredients for the ingredient row. Um, he doesn't need to do that. Any, everything that's uh, there that's for the time stop is there. So I am just think I'm just going to go ahead and start working on that time stop with the 55 points I got. And with that, let's replenish. Okay. Uh, this guy, he... Ooh, honey. You know what? Uh, I wish there was one more honey. He has two seats in hand. He can go for more spells or he can try to end the game. Let's see. I think he's going to try to do both because he's a greedy, greedy guy. So the tonic needs a honey and the tonic can give him a restore. So he'll take the honey. He has what he needs next turn to buy a tonic. And with the seed, he's just going to try and start to um, get the end of the game going. So he'll take the mushroom because there's only one of them. Uh, that's for the end of the game. That's for his potion. Let's refill another mushroom. There was another mushroom and more bones. Now the red panda, it's the red panda's turn. And he's going to go ahead and use his power. You may tell, take all the bones from the ingredient row. And when you do, you flip the card and you get this really cool art. And he is going to just take all the bones because he needs bones to end the game. Let's see how he's doing. He's got the mushrooms, he's got the seeds, he's got the honey, he's got the bones. All he needs is the seeds. And now for his turn, he'll take the last two ingredients, which one of them is the seeds, which means that everything is going to be replenished. And next turn he can earn the game, he can end the game because he's got all five ingredients he needs. We'll leave those there. And that's the end of his turn. We're gonna have a big refill. And um, let's see, still no honey and a power to take all the honey and take it again. Hasn't even been used. Okay, this guy, he knows, he knows this is his ch last chance because this uh, the opponent has everything he needs. He saw how he grabbed a bunch of ingredients. He cannot be sure, but if he has a good memory, like I do not, uh, he probably knows that the end of the game is very, 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 very near. So let's see. With that said, if he gets that potion is three points, better than the two points he's holding on to right now, can he, he's gonna go ahead and get a tonic. Yeah, he cannot craft any, any spells. So let's get a tonic so that he gets three points. And with a mushroom and seeds, unfortunately there's nothing that takes mushrooms and seeds. That's too bad, because another three points would have been great. But I don't see anything. Nope, that's seeds and herbs. That's honey and herbs, that's mushroom and honey. Okay, nope, not a good combo right here. But these are gonna give him two points because everything that you have left uh, on your table is worth points. Now, like we said, this guy's gonna go ahead and end the game. Mushroom, seeds, honey, bones, and um, 
the seeds. All right, so yes, I think that the uh, red panda is going to end the game and then we'll score. So in order to end the game, I need all uh, five ingredients for the time stop. Let me show you. Okay, there's a time stop and it takes mushrooms, which are hiding over here. It takes the herbs, which are here, you can see them. It takes the honey, which I have. Okay, come on honey, come on over. Okay, and then the bones and the seeds, all five. So I have all of them and these get discarded, this, these get this, these get discarded, okay. And the time stop read, end the game, not affected by other spells. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and count the points that everybody has, just the, the points indicated at the bottom of the cards, and let's see who's the winner. All right, so first the red panda. I have all of the cards that the red panda still has uh, collected at the beginning of the game, at the end of the game. So we should probably start with the spells. <laughs> okay, there's 10 for the time end, so that's 10 plus 15, that's 25 plus another 15, that's 40. 25. Yeah, 40, math, math. Uh, that's 50 and 65, 66, 67, and 68. Okay, so the red panda has 68 points. Now let's check how many points for the badger. All right, here's everything that the badger has at the end of the game and oh backwards okay so that's five oh these are the ones he used 10 15 25 30 40 50 53 54 and 55 so 55 over here and 68 over here so our friend with the big spells was still the winner the winner at the end he did get more more points uh yeah it was it was actually uh very uh, i didn't know what was going to happen but uh, this little guy won but just one more look at that amazing art and all the characters have really cool art so um actually let me show you the rest of the characters before we go. Okay, here's another one of the really cool characters in the game. This is the uh, Fennec Fox, I believe. Yes. And then look at this guy. Come on, this art is super cool. And here's his name, the Pangolin. Okay, he likes mushrooms. And look at this dude, he's amazing. And I think this is the sloth. Yes, the sloth. <laughs> Looks quite fierce if you ask me. Okay guys, and we did it. That was a full run through of Animalgamist. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and see you on the next one. Well guys, there you have it. That was a full run through of Animalgamist. Very portable, filler type of game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Meeple Village, join the village. We are 400 strong now. And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We will let you know what games are coming up next. Also ask your opinion on what roles, what games, a lot of things that you can join in and be a part of in Meeple Village. So thank you guys for showing up today, watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. But until then, may you play more games.